Hello and welcome to Adam Shar Weekly. In this video, I'm going to show you a new feature of Swift 5, which is called Codable Ranges. So let's get started. Codable Ranges basically means that your ranges or the range operator or the value of that particular range can be encoded and decoded. So let's go ahead and take a look at a very simple example. I'm going to go ahead and create a structure and this structure will represent the name of the toy. So it's representing a particular toy. And apart from the name, it also has some sort of an age range. So this particular toy is meant for ages, which is range of integer. In order for this toy structure or the instance of the toy structure to be encoded and decoded, we have to make sure that it conforms to codable. Now I can go ahead and create a toy. I'm going to create a car and pass in some sort of a name. So maybe I'll call it racing car and some sort of an age range. Now kids already have a lot of toys. So I'm going to make this toy for adults. So there we go. 21 to 40. This is the age range for a racing car. Now I'm going to go ahead and encode it using the JSON encoder dot encode and we will encode simply the car. This can actually blow up, so I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, the force try operator, which means that if the encoding fails, then it is going to blow up and the whole app will crash. I'm just doing this for this small demo, but in your real app, you should always be using a optional try block, which means that if it blows up, something bad happens, if the encoding fails, it's gonna return you null. Okay, so what we want to do is after encoding it into data, we actually want to send it across the wire to some sort of a service. So let's go ahead and create a request. This will be of type URL request and passing in a particular URL. I'm gonna go ahead and create a URL. So let's go ahead and create a URL with something in it. Now I will be running a local server, which I have written in Node but you can create your server any way you like. Once again, since this is just a demo video for uh, codable ranges, I am forcefully unwrapping it. You should always make sure that you are unwrapping the URL or unwrapping anything with safety or safe optional. Request dot HTTP method. We are going to use post and request dot body, which is HTTP body basically, which will be the data. Before that, I also need to set the content type for the request since we are actually sending JSON. So request dot add value. The value in this case will be application JSON. This is basically the header that we are setting and for a header field called content type. Let's go ahead and set the data correctly. And now we can go ahead and perform the request. So URL session dot shared dot data task, passing in with the request, we are already have the request and completion handler. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna go ahead and pass in the completion handler, data response and error in, and don't forget to call resume or else your request is not gonna go. Now currently it's not gonna run because my server is actually not really running. But if we were to post this to the server, we need to find out how is it available on the other side, on the node server that is written in JavaScript. So let me go ahead and run the server and then we can jump onto the server and see that how will server respond to when you are actually sending in a particular range. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the server folder and going to simply run the folder. This server is actually written by Express and Node Express JS, and I'm simply going to run this server. So the server is now running. So now localhost 3000 twice URL is available. Let me go ahead and send the request and let's go over here. And now you can see that the request is coming to the server. The name that we are passing is racing car 
and look at this age range that we have encoded it, it is actually passed in as an array of two different values. Now, since this is JavaScript, JavaScript does not really have any built-in range operator that will take in that as a range and create a range from 21 to 41 or 21 to 40. So JavaScript, we have to write that ourselves or if the, if the server is on any different kind of a platform, you will have to see if they accept an array of two values and create a range or not. But let me go ahead and change this range. If I go ahead and say this range is now 40 and this is for 65. And if I save it and run it, and if I move over here, I will get another request and now you can see that the age or the range which is uh, codable is being passed across the wire to our service. What to do with this particular age range because it's not really in the format of a range? Well, you will perform JavaScript operation on it to create the range yourself. If your server was written in Swift language using Kaitura or Vapor, then you will simply take that range and or this array and then simply pass it to the range so it will create a range of based on the array which we have over here. So that's pretty much it. This means we have new features in the Swift language, Swift 5, and this feature was about codable ranges in Swift 5. Thank you so much. If you like this video and you want to support future videos or want to check out my courses on Udemy, simply go to the URL in the description and you will find all of my courses that are available on Udemy. You can see I have courses on advanced iOS development and even mastering RS Swift for iOS. If you're interested in blockchain programming, I also have a course on blockchain programming and augmented reality also. If you're interested in learning about MVVM design pattern, that is one of my best-selling courses. So go ahead, check it out my different courses on Udemy and thank you for your continuous support.